So today on Controller Check, we will check out the Namco Nam, Namco Joy <laughs> Joy-Con. All right, so this is the little bony Sony, and this is the Jog-Con. So back in the day, I borrowed a PlayStation One, and I loved Ridge Racer Revolution. It was one of them games that I could just get behind. Oh, I played it to death. Got all them bonus cars, the black. The black kitty cat, kitty cat 13 car. And ever since then, I love this series. No place I'd be. In this box, we get the Ridge Racer Type 4 with the controller itself. The line. Usual thing, we get an inlay. And check these used CDs. Seriously, look, look at this. Spotless. This happens a lot in Japan. Oh, booklet. And the other CD. Looks like it's new. Controller itself comes with a manual, an unreadable manual. And we also get a warranty. You know this is worth something. And the controller itself. Namco, the guys that make Tekken games. So the buttons are really good. The small wheel in the middle is a force feedback. Or at least I think it is. We'll test it in a sec. You can compare it to the regular PlayStation controller. It's a bit different. Noticeably, the D-pad. Oh, and the big wheel. <laughs> All right. So this is the first time I actually checked out my PlayStation on the CRT. And man, listen to this. So this is Ridge Racer Type 4, and there's something magical about these intros. Beautiful. In the options, we have specific settings for these Jogcon controllers. How sensitive they are, and how much play they have. When you first start playing, it's pretty difficult to get the hang of. Steering's pretty difficult with one thumb. I'm gonna try doubling up. The wheel being so small is not the only issue. What it is, is uh, there's a small motor inside it delivering force feedback. So you're actually fighting the force of the game. Uh, controller. Oh, check this out. Self centers, yeah. So I figured the best way of controlling this thing is to imagine that you've got two little hands at the end of each of your thumbs and move that steering wheel around. So the other game in the box is Ridge Racer Revol... Ridge... High Definition. Wait, I gotta go get that CD. Alright, Ridge Racer, high spec version. There we go. Yeah, check the speed. So quick.
A little known feature of this controller is you hold down the mode button, turn on the PS1, and you can actually use this controller with any NESCON game. So you got like Ridge Racer, Motor 2, Grand Prix, Ridge Racer Revolution, Cyber Sled, Ace Combat, Wipeout, oh. Disrupting Derby, Namco Museum Volume 1, J League Soccer Prime Goal X, Studio P, Need for Speed, World Stadium X, Wipeout 2097, Rage Racer, Motor 2, Grand Prix 2, Galaxian 3, Namco Museum Volume 2, Tempest X3, Destruction Derby 2, Rally Cross, Ace Combat, Peak Performance, Devious, 3D G Plus, V Rally, Gran Turismo, Arkham Returns, Ray Tracers, Token, Touring Car Championship, Nesco 99, R4, Ridge Racer Type 4, Twisted Metal 3, World Champion 2, Ace Combat 3, Eliminate 5th, uh, Crash Team Racing, Cyber Side Special, Tour Max G, Ridge Racer 5, Battle Gear 2, Wipeout Fusion, Nam Collection. So, what do I think about this? It's pretty good. I'm very surprised. I had a lot of fun with this. Is it a novelty item? Yep. But I mean, you could use it as like a spare PS1 pad. I like it. Nice pad, Namco. And thank you for including Nijicon compatibility. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip.